Avid Media Composer 5, as well as previous versions, have tight integration with Sorns and Squeeze. With Squeeze, you have access to the highest quality encoding and a complete publishing and distribution solution. Squeeze is bundled with Media Composer to help you get the most out of the hard work you've poured into your edits. In this video, I will walk through how to export from Media Composer 5, as well as answer a few common workflow questions, such as publishing and using filters. Here I am in Media Composer 5. I have my project loaded and my video on the timeline. First, I'll select the timeline I want to export, then go to File, Send To, Encoding, Sorts and Squeeze. A dialog box will come up. If this is your first integration with Squeeze, then you must first set up Media Composer to send to Squeeze. Settings are mostly in place, but I'll need to direct Media Composer to where Squeeze is installed on my machine and tell it to open after Send To. First check the Auto Launch button. Now check this button. To make sure that the project loads into Squeeze, click here and choose Add Item. Now I need to locate Squeeze. On a Mac it will be in the Applications folder, and on Windows it will be in your Program Files or Program Files x86 for 64-bit systems. Now I'll save this profile. I'll just overwrite the existing Squeeze template, and next time I use Squeeze, it will be ready. Now click OK. Squeeze will auto-launch and the video will auto-populate as a QuickTime reference movie. For this example, I'll encode this project to a local area network storage so it can be grabbed by editors on different systems. I want to make it universal so that the audio department or compositors have easy access to it. Here in Squeeze, there is a tab called Editing here in the Presets window. I can see Motion JPEG. Motion JPEG is a highly universal, highly editable, and low loss codec that is also fast to encode. To apply the preset, I can either click it and click Apply, or drag and drop it onto my video in the job window here. Now I need to define an output path. In the job window, there are three columns, Settings, Destination, and Progress. In the Destination column, it says Default for the job in dark gray. In Squeeze, there are three ways to specify a destination for your output video. The first way is found in the Preferences menu here in the Squeeze drop-down on a Mac or in the File drop-down on Windows. Here in the Output tab, you can set your default output location. The default setting is same as Source, but I have mine set to go to a Squeeze folder on my local drive. The second way is to right-click here in the Destination column. I can either specify a new output location for each video or for the job as a whole. The third way is to add a publishing preset. Published presets act differently than the first two methods in that Squeeze will publish to your default or specified location and your published destination. They also have the added benefit of being presets, so if I'm not pushing to a specific network all the time, I don't have to fuss over setting it as a default or changing it manually each time. To add a new preset, I click the plus icon and this dialog appears. Since this is a local area network attached storage, I choose the Send To folder and choose the network location. I'll call it NAS and click OK. Add this preset the same way you'd add any preset by clicking Apply or dragging and dropping it here. Now my file will compress to my local drive and to the NAS. I click Squeeze it and let it go. With Squeeze 6 and higher, you can publish locally to various destinations, including local directories, as in the previous example, or directly to applications for further processing, like scoring. In addition, Squeeze has many online publishing options, including Amazon Web Services, YouTube, Akamai, Limelight, FTP, Sorensen 360, and many more. Let's run through what you can do with these publishing presets if you're connected to the internet. One of the biggest challenges that many editors face is the timely review and approval of edits either completed deliverables or just dailies. In the past, this has meant burning DVDs or sending files via FTPs or sending via email. Well, there's an easier way. Let me show you how this is done. Before we begin, we need the optional companion to Squeeze, Sorensen 360. 360 is a full-featured online video platform, and as an avid customer, you get special pricing starting at just $36 a month. Visit sorensenmedia.com slash avid to get started. Now that I have my account information, I'll add it to Squeeze by adding a new publishing preset. 
click the plus icon here and then choose Sorensen 360. Enter your credentials and click verify this account. Verified, good. I'll click OK. Squeeze will then add a new set of presets to my web tab. If I check here in web, destinations, Sorensen 360, I can see that it did. All right, if I go back into my Media Composer project again, I can send to Squeeze as I did before. Here it is in Squeeze. What I want to do is send this daily to a project manager in the creative department for sign off on the graphics. First thing is to create notifications for these people. Down in the lower left is the notifications window. So, just like adding a preset or published destination, I click the plus icon here to bring up the dialog. I'll set up the project manager first. Now, I know he's out on location right now, so I'll send this to his mobile and his email just in case. Enable review and approval, and if I want to, I can password protect it as well. All right, now for the creative team. Click the plus icon again, add their email, and check review and approval. I'm also going to add myself so I know when the job is complete. This can be a lifesaver if I've got a long project and you don't want to sit around the office waiting on an encoding job. Now I want to add all these notifications to my project. I also want to add a time code for reference. Over in my filters is a time code filter. I can double click it to make changes to the font, the background color, transparency, and more but I'm going to leave it as it is and just click apply or drag and drop it over. Now I'll add an encoding preset and click squeeze it. Now that it's done encoding, I'll get an email like this. My project manager and creative team get similar messages. Clicking on the link takes me to a page to view the video and add notes. I'll skip ahead a bit after everyone gets a chance to comment. Okay, I have a please revise notice with timecode notes right here in the window. I also get emails with any comments that have been made. Now I can go right back into my Media Composer project and make the changes, saving me time and effort. These are just a few examples of the many advantages of using Squeeze in the Media Composer workflow. For more information, including tutorials and videos, visit sorensenmedia.com.